Okay, it was in, in, in Ba. Um, um, you would have noted that we are really pushing forward for agricultural expansion, particularly commercial agriculture. Fiji has uh, survived for so long on commercial agriculture, mostly on the sugar side, but with regard to subsistence agriculture on a number of uh, crop and livestock. But we, we think that our potential lies far more greater than what we are doing. You look around, vast amount of land is vacant, huge potential. You look at our statistics, we are importing a substantial amount of produce from outside Fiji. There's no reason why we can't produce here locally, except for some exotic fruits and vegetables which may not be suitable to our weather condition, we can produce all the tropical fruits. Why do, we, why do hotels need to import from uh, neighboring countries? Why do we have to um, drink um, uh, uh, fruit juice uh, from supermarkets which is uh, canned outside Fiji? You look at the season now, there's vast amount of mangoes available. Are we canning mango juice? There is a mismatch between food processing and production. The hotel sector, every year, based on a study in 2017 by World Bank, spends about Fiji and $74 million on importation of fresh produce, including fruits. They spend this amount, $74 million. Out of this, 52% is imported sent out from outside. We lose 38.5 million every year. This, I'm sure when we have a normal operating year after the pandemic, this figure would be much, much higher. At the moment, let's work with 38.5 million dollars that we are spending outside. We have the potential of cutting it substantially reducing this import bill of fresh produce from 38.5 million. We import grapes, oranges, apple, pear, kiwi fruit with a total value of $17 million and 3.8 million being processed fruits. Now, there are two things we need to do. One is we need to produce as much as possible fresh fruits through orchards. Most of the fruits that we now see are widely grown. We got very few number of orchards. In fact, these are the orchards that we established last year. So you talk about breadfruit, talk about chestnut, ivy, talk about mango. Where is the orchard? No, it's all widely grown. We want to establish orchards farms of fruit trees. So the first thing that this production is in your hands, the farmer. The second component is substitution. Why do we need to uh, make apple juice? Why can't we have mango juice? Why can't we use mango, pineapple? Pineapple is produced every year round. So there needs to be a change in mentality from the hotel hospitality sector, the chefs, the procurement officers, as well as the consumers. When have you seen a tourist coming to the hotel and say that I only want to consume imported vegetables or imported fruits? <coughs> we need to showcase our own cuisine. We need to utilize, our chefs must utilize our own vegetables and we are pushing forward for supply, consistent supply and quality supply of fresh produce from our own farms and we can do substantially well. In the same token, we also want to be ready to provide the volume of fruits required by the hospitality sector. We have made a point and we have sent a message across that when the hotels open, as it is opening now, 
We want them to look within. We want them to buy from within our own produce. We don't want to hear from farmers saying that there's an oversupply and the prices have gone down. So we we're going to work very closely with the hospitality sector, the hotels, the procurement offices, the chefs. In fact, I've spoken to um, a very well-renowned chef who is writing a proposal to secure some funding, who will be employed by us and will go to all the hotels and talk to all the chefs and procurement offices that they must buy from within. Stop buying zucchini from outside. We can use cucumber as a substitute. We can use mbele, choreya, moza, ruru. There's an enormous amount of vegetables. And farmers are saying that because of oversupply, prices have come down. We want the hospitality sector to procure from within. We want all the consumers outside the hospitality sector, when they go to the market, buy our own vegetables. Whether it's in Bele, Ruru, Moza, Seichan. In fact, in fact, these vegetables are the most nutritious vegetables in the world. Just Google about Bele. Google about Seichan, Moringa leaf. They are factories established to um, dry Moringa leaf in a dehydrator, get Moringa powder, pack it up, and sell it at a premium price. Yet we have so much of Moringa leaves and people are shying away from consuming. And it is one of the reasons why we've got so much of a, a small amount of malnutrition issue. And I've said it, that we don't have food security issue here, but we have nutritional security, particularly uh, our household sector, people in the interior maritime, there is an issue of balanced nutrition. And that is why we are pushing fruits supply in the market. People are complaining that fruits prices are high, and we are saying that we not going to want, don't want to regulate the price. You go to New World, you buy one dragon fruit, it's about $12 extra. I want to thank the farmer here in Sovi Bay who is producing dragon fruit. Similarly, the hybrid guava. So ladies and gentlemen, we are responding to where we want the market to be by going back and working from the production, supply and market. This value chain, we are entering at different level, be it at the production side, be it at the marketing side, be it at processing, be it identifying the market and ensuring that transportation is available. We travel widely in Chiria, deal with farmers' issue of farm roads, irrigation, land preparation, mechanization, provision of planting material. And today is dedicated to announce that we are now establishing a number of orchards for fruits. We will be establishing at least 45 new orchards in the Western Division. These orchards will be for a number of fruits like rambutan, guava, um, uh, oranges, breadfruit, evie, chestnut, dragon fruit. And I want to today congratulate these 45 recipients of um, uh, offer letters to establish orchard on their farm throughout Fiji. And Sengotoka is fortunate that we are launching this program here uh, this year. And uh, you are the pioneers of this year's initiative of the ministry uh, that we are committed under our strategic development plan. Orchards was formally launched last year and I want to say that I'm quite a bit a bit disappointed that out of the uh, 20, 25 orchards that we uh, uh, assisted, a number of them has failed because farmers think that you plant a fruit tree and that's it. It won't germinate on its own. You have to look after it. You have to fertilize it. You have to you know, uh, water it. You have to protect it from animals, wild animals, stray animals. And I'm disappointed. Even right here at our backyard in Kulukulu, 
we uh, planted, I think it was guava. Guava. You look at it now, full of jungle, half dead. And we don't want these kind of farmers to be assisted ever again. They'll be blacklisted. So all those who are selected will be giving you seedlings, will be assisting you with fertilizer, but you will have to work. You will have to look after. I was in um, somewhere last, yesterday, and someone said that, you know, uh, when are you coming to prune our cocoa tree? Why should we prune your cocoa tree? It's your cocoa. You prune it. You look after it. We'll teach you how to prune. He said, okay, okay, yeah, they come and teach, and we'll then prune it ourselves. Please, carry, carry, understand. Treat agriculture like a business. Don't treat government as a, the agriculture ministry as a welfare ministry. Please, this is not a welfare ministry. Just pick up the budget document, you'll see the three categories. Infrastructure, what ministries come under infrastructure, what ministries come under administration, what ministries come under social welfare, and what ministry come under economy. Agriculture is an economic ministry. This ministry is going to push boundaries and expand Fiji's economy, growth and development. And that's how we should treat it. Okay? So thank you. Congratulations to all the recipients. And I look forward to uh, handing out the offer letters. And you need to inform us as soon as your land is ready. We'll come with the planting material and the fertilizer. And you need to plant it and look after it. Thank you. Naka.